said to our team that day before the Missouri game that uh, this is college football and this is the beauty of college football. You know, I'm a guy who personally has always rooted for underdogs. Uh, I grew up, you know, enjoying watching Army, Navy, and Air Force, and I couldn't wait to put on a Northwestern game or a Vanderbilt game or watch Rice or, or Tulane before Tulane. Now Tulane's pretty good, but back in the day, you know, Tulane would be a three and nine team and I'd be watching Tulane. And, and uh, so that's the beauty of college football. You gotta play the games. And, and if, uh, if a group of five team or even an FCS team shows up and just does what they do and does it at a really high level and doesn't blink in that environment and um, a, a ranked team shows up and for whatever reason, it's a C plus day for them or a B minus day for them, guess what? That's what happens, right? That's what happens. And, and so, um, and I've been a part of, of all of those games. You do this long enough, you see it all. And so nothing surprises me anymore. And uh, Bowling Green was very competitive going in and playing Penn State, and took that game down to the wire. Um, obviously Northern had the, the big upset. And, uh, you know, we didn't quite play to the level that those two teams did, but we will eventually get there. And um, my first year at Ball State, we weren't able to go into Oklahoma and, and really compete with the number one ranked team in the country. It was just a little bit big for us at that point. But, you know, a year or two later, all of a sudden we started being more competitive in those games. And, I'm not saying we ever beat the number five ranked team in the country, but we beat Indiana a couple times. We, we beat Virginia, we beat South Florida. We had some of those kind of wins. And I think it's just the team understanding that you don't really need to do a whole lot different. You just need to be the best version of yourself.